not it. It's not it. If you notice in the video, the first thing that Officer Kayla Wallace references is that's not it. And she's forced to drop on her knees with shorts on on the side of the street with traffic on go. And from there, the same way she can fly, but she's, of course, traumatized. She's scared for her life. One wrong move, she could be gone with these guns drawn on her. And following her arrest, she put her handcuffs. They eventually let her go. Not once did he even ask for her name. Nobody gave her a report. And she was left angry, traumatized, not knowing what to do. It's not it. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Driver, use your hand. Open the door. Use your hand. Open the door. Show me your hands. Show me your hands. Show me your hands! Step out of the car, face away from me! Face away from me! Face away from me! Show me your hands! Walk back to the sound of my voice! Walk, walk back to the sound of my voice! Walk backwards to the sound of my voice! Alright, stop! Stop! Get on your knees! Stay there! Put your hands behind your back! Yeah, in just a second, alright? Give me a second. Alright. What? Alright. Stand up. We're at Highway 7. We're at Circle K. 46 South. Alright. Right. So we got a we got a hit that your car was stolen. A okay. hit that my car was stolen. Y'all yes. can't put my registration in everything. Okay. All right. I'm only 18. Y'all can't. Right. And then y'all put it like that on me. Stolen, dear. How my right. car? Bro, let me call my mama. Let me call my mama. Did y'all even read the tags? No, y'all did not. Let me call my mama. And y'all got me in this right. fucking handcuffs. Like Give me a second. And they ain't gonna tell me to get down on my knees. This car ain't fucking stolen. The fuck? Y'all got me fucked up. That's not it. The fuck? Alright. Alright, shit. Listen. Y'all got me fucked up. Okay. Listen. Here's. Here's what happened. I don't want to hear shit. Bro. All right. Thankfully, her mother and her grandmother and her aunt they came to the city of uh, Northwest Myrtle Beach to get some answers to figure out what happened. And a report really wasn't generated in this until over a week later. Not once was a report generated, despite there being public contact laws for law enforcement departments whenever they make contact with a citizen and there's not an arrest or detainment, they're supposed to get that information and give a citizen a report. That did not happen here. And here's where we are now. Uh, what we're seeking is full justice and accountability for everything that uh, Lanisha has gone through. This traumatized experience that is sticking with her today. And she's going to have to relive for the rest of her life, unfortunately. And on top of that, there needs to be a complete training of the law enforcement department on you know, citizens' interactions and lawful stops. When you draw a weapon on somebody, in today's climate, too, with hope and carry, constitutional carry, you don't know what you're going to come into. Any one wrong move could be a death, a life and death situation. So there needs to be complete overhaul of the training. And there needs to be some accountability with the license plate reader technology that cities utilize. If this is AI driven, I mean, you would think that the first thing you would do is check the license plate. In fact, on video, Lanisha, who just turned 18, you hear her ask the y'all officer, did you even check my license plate before they made an arrest, before they pulled her out of the vehicle? That should have been done immediately. And then they should have went to her vehicle and asked, hey, will you step out?